Hey viewers, this is uh, Random Stuff with Alex Hughes, and uh, today I think I want to talk about uh, what I find at trash cleanups. So I've done quite a lot over the last few years or so, um, usually with an uh, organization. I've done Surfrider over here in Oceanside in Encinitas. I've done, um, when I was in high school, we had CSF, an environmental club. We'd go to Bringle Terrace and... Um, other than that, I also did independent cleanups where I just went out on my own, had a picker and grabbed a bucket and I've uploaded two videos, uh, was it the litter chronicles? I've also, uh, written articles, um, based off of the litter chronicles as well. Other than that, I remember doing some with, uh, Only Losers Litter, which is an organization here in Vista that's, uh, dedicated to doing monthly litter pickups throughout Vista. And so I've done uh, quite a few over the last few years, and I've found some really interesting stuff. Uh, usually by my house, I've mentioned before, it's cigarettes, it's alcohol, and I've seen some uh, drug paraphernalia as well um, littered on the side of the road. Alcohol is usually uh, a lot of cheap stuff, to be honest, a lot of plastic. I mean, I didn't realize that vodka came in a... Uh, plastic bottles too but they're you know they're down in the you know what one dollar you know the 99 cent shots that's what i've seen a lot of those little tiny ones um you get a get for cheap so other than that i've uh usually seen cigarette butts um usually napkins or like tissue paper i guess people wipe the nose i've seen um wrapping um uh, for a lot of snacks, a lot of fast food wrappers, um, like McDonald's, I've seen Taco Bell, Burger King. Most of the major fast food chains I've seen, you know, littered on the side of the road. Uh, a lot of pieces of plastic, um, you know, cracked. Because when plastic gets in the sun, you know, it starts to weaken and then it just shatters all over the place. So that's definitely not good for the environment. Uh, but I've seen, yeah, a lot of cans. So... I definitely have made some uh, money off of the CRV, uh, but yeah, usually I do it for about 30-40 minutes, um, and I go up and down the road by my house. Um, I've I think I remember finding door hinge in one of the videos and a, a zip tie. I found uh, some tennis balls that were like busted up. I've seen uh, election signs. It's funny, around here, um, usually it's in November or so, people want you to vote for them. And so I've picked up, I remember over by my high school, I found a giant election sign. And then I think over on uh, where I live, I found an election sign. It was pretty big, but they didn't pick them up. So um, other than that, I would say at the beach, a lot of cigarette butts. Uh, some wrapping and usually it's like smaller when you go on the beach usually the sandy area there's not going to be a lot of stuff i mean i think me and my sister found a smartphone one time uh, under the dirt or kind of buried a little bit but it's when you get towards the parking lot and towards the street is where you find a lot of trash and um over by encinitas there's an ice cream place and so you see the the ice cream cups and the um, plastic spoons. I've seen uh, probably straws as well, um, cigarette butts, um, sometimes articles of clothing like socks, I believe I've seen. Uh, I think I've seen a sandal. Um, of course, at the beach, you know, some might lose one. Uh, I've seen rags, which can be very gross. Um, but over in Encinitas, yeah, bottle caps I've seen. Um, wrapping of all sorts plastic paper um but a lot of times if you stay focused on the cleanups you can pick up at least a bucket full or two buckets full and you can just recycle recycle you know um a lot of the things are recyclable because they're made out of plastic so even the utensils the straws the just random you know shards of plastic you can actually put that in the recycling bin a lot of the paper though the quality isn't so good especially if it rains uh you know gets brown in the dirt that ends up just you might as well throw that in the trash um but uh i would say that um 
some areas have so much trash. You know, I, I remember doing a cleanup, I think, uh, in Oceanside for one of the uh, coastal cleanup days, and we found huge, huge amounts of trash just kind of, uh, usually it blows and it gets into the weeds, so that's where you pick up the trash a lot. And um, uh, now that there's a lot of homeless encampments, you know, there's a lot of areas you could actually pick up, do a lot of work. Um, but they're usually in like mountains and in bushes, so having clean up there can be a little bit trickier. But um, there was a place along uh, North Santa Fe and Vista. I remember uh, picking up, and that area has a lot of trash, uh, a lot of dog, a lot of dog poop. To be honest, uh, people I mean, they don't have any areas where you can um, like the doggy pots, so you can wrap it up and then put it into the little uh, trash can that they have there. Uh, but I guess it's your responsibility, you know, to pick up after your pet. And um, so that I'd I'd recommend if you're in on North Santa Fe or if you're on a uh, Woodland Drive. Or Hanalei, I think it was called Hanalei Drive, uh, by the elementary school in Vista. To be very careful for dog poop, because slipping in that stuff is not fun. And I've had uh, an experience when I was doing a trash pickup over there, and I slipped. I didn't fall into it, but my shoe got uh, it got some poop on it, and that was not fun. It's it's just a I don't yeah. There's a lot by that school. And it really stinks uh, for the kids too, you know, uh, if they step in it because uh, it's not very fun. You know, it doesn't smell good either. So um, other than that, I would say, yeah, North Santa Fe, uh, you find food in the strangest of places. There was a lot of place that you can lift up the top and people would just stuff trash in there. I guess there was no trash can nearby and they would just basically put food i remember i think there was like a lot of mexican uh you know snack wrappers and i think there was cookies and i think there was a cob of corn corn on the cob and so and i guess just stuck that in there and so i remember lifting that thing up and there was tons of garbage and it's kind of fun to do this in public because you know you see the pedestrians you know uh reaction like this is what's happening there's literally a whole bunch of garbage in this electrical box i mean it's not a trash can and it's i you know i hope that they change their ways you know that's one of the things about the cleanups is uh, you lead by example and you show people that are in the cars or that pass by that, you know, this is something that you can do and you don't have to have a lot of supplies, a uh, plastic bucket, a trash picker or some gloves and you can go out there and do it yourself and make a difference and uh, prevent pollution, uh, environment from going to the ocean, uh, from aesthetic purposes that, you know, it doesn't look very nice for the city or the county to have tons of trash everywhere. And, uh, yeah, North Santa Fe, I just remember doing uh, quite a lot and seeing a lot. Um, and, you know, there, there's a lot of areas where there's nothing. It's just like a dirt lot, you know, tumbleweeds and whatnot. And there'd be trash there. You know, people walk along and they just drop their snack wrappers. And um, that's what I noticed a lot. You know, the Mylar packaging. Um, uh, olive across the transit station. Uh, tends to have some trash. Usually it's like a lot of smaller pieces that it's almost, I guess, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, worthless to pick up, but it's really small. So, you know, if you have a picker, it just kind of falls through. But there's a lot of cigarette butts across the street. Cigarette butts and uh, paraphernalia, uh, drug paraphernalia. And, yeah, I have seen some uh, sharps. You know, I don't know if people have diabetes or they're shooting up some heroin or something. <laughs> but uh, I've seen those sharps before and I don't pick those up. You know, there's some things I won't. I still am not really picking up Q-tips because they're kind of gross. Or, you know, the some people, I guess, floss their teeth. So they have those uh, uh, plastic floss pickers that, you know, you go in your teeth. I've seen those before. Uh, I've seen band-aids, which are really gross, especially if they have, like, blood on them. You know, that's gross. I I wouldn't pick up that. Or, I don't know, I didn't really like plastic gloves because those were kind of gross, too. You know, the, like, latex gloves that they have. Um, but overall, I, yeah, I picked up buckets and buckets. Well, at least probably maybe 25 to 35 buckets or more. And uh, my, uh, started... Uh, about over four years ago uh, picking up trash and 
it's been great. You know, I've seen a lot of progress, seen a lot of change, and I'm glad to see that there is an organization dedicated to that, uh, picking up trash in our community because we definitely needed it. And uh, there's a lot of areas that still need a lot of help. Uh, but other than that, I I think I remember, yeah, someone littered uh, on our street. Yeah, someone littered tires. You know, I think there was about four tires on the side of the road. Um, I remember, uh, I thought it was, you know, fine. I didn't think there was any metal in a tire. I thought it was just rubber. But, you know, there was like some metal poking out of it. Cool thing is my grandma actually got to use some of those uh, tires. Uh, oh, yeah, I've seen a construction helmet, too. It's pretty cool. Uh, one of those yellow hard hats. I've seen a lot of pieces of cars, um, especially along where we live because there are accidents. So, you know, there's like a bumper, there's license plates or the, you know, the uh, logo of the car. The uh, like if you have like a Mercedes or Ford, you know, the 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 logo there I've seen. Um, but yeah, shards of metal. Uh, sometimes nails. I think I remember finding bullets too. That was pretty scary. Um, I've never really seen bullets before, but uh, that was actually near where we lived. Um, and uh, I haven't seen a lot of buried stuff. Uh, sometimes there's bottle caps or metal that's just been buried underground, but um, it's a little bit trickier to take out. You know, I don't bring a shovel with me, so uh, yeah. I, I definitely have found a lot of cool stuff, a lot of recycling, and um, I will definitely continue to do trash pickups, and whoever watches this should uh, try their hand at it as well. So this is Random Stuff with Alex Hughes, and uh, have a great day.